So in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can use data from the CSV file that you can use in your JMeter scripts. So most of the times what you have to do is you have to create load on the server and when we are creating the uh, load or we are, when we are sending the requests to the server, we have to use the dynamic data. So to fix that, what you can do is uh, you can use the CSV file and then what will happen is JMeter will read the data from the CSV file and then send that data in the subsequent requests. So as you can see, uh, we have got very simple uh, thread group here and we are saying that run five threads. So five transactions will be happening or five requests will be sent to the server. So that is the meaning of this number of threads thing. We have got this HTTP request and as you can see, I'm parameterizing these things, ID and name. So currently I'm uh, parameterizing this name, but you can parameterize anything, for example, uh, body data or parameters. So idea is same, you have to use this variable. So now uh, where these variables are coming from? So these variables are coming from CSV file. So if you look here, there is one CSV file and comma separated the first line is the header so it will tell me what are the variables so id and name and that is what i use here id and name so depending upon your scenario or your project you can define those variables or the parameters as in the csv file and those parameters you can use here like that so you can use uh, these parameters or variables anywhere in your request. It can be in body, it can be in uh, parameters, or it can be in the path, server name, port number, anywhere you can use that. There is no restrictions on where you can use those parameters. So I have used these two parameters here, but you can use three, four, whatever number you want. And then you can give the actual data. So what we are telling here is that, okay, th this is the CSV file. And what we are telling JMeter is that JMeter here is your data. So when you are sending the request to the server, please come here, take this data and then send the request. So first thread will come, pick this data, fill this ID and name here and then send the request. Before sending the request that replacement is happening. And then second thread when it comes, it comes here, it will pick up the second line and then send the request and so on and so forth. When the end of file is reached, then we can uh, tell JMeter to recycle the data. So next thread will go to uh, this line and then start uh, picking that data. Or uh, there is a setting, if you uh, go here, there is a CSV data set config. So that config element is required if you want to fetch the data from the CSV and then fill it into the request. So what you have to do is you have to go to this thread group and then add that config element called a CSV dataset config. And once it is added, you can change the name and this is the file name you can give. So this data.csv is basically this file. So we are telling Jmeter to read data from this file. And then by default, the delimiter will be comma. And this setting is very important, recycle on end of file so when all the data is consumed and next thread comes up and the end of file is reached we are telling true recycle on eof true that means next thread will go to the it will start processing that data once again that means it will come here and then that thread will use this data next thread will use this data this data and then that cycle will go and go on and go on until all the threads finished processing the requests. Now uh, here we are saying that sharing model all threads, current thread, current thread group. So you can uh, select whatever suits your needs. So that's it. All we are doing here is just setting the path of that CSV file. In the CSV file you have to put the parameters, comma separated, but you can change that delimiter as you can see here. Here you can change that one and then make sure that this is added at the thread group level after that in any request which needs the dynamic data or the data from the csv file just put these parameters here like that or the variables we can call it and then what will happen is that 
those id and name will be used so if you come here i'm gonna clear this and then i'm gonna run this so what will happen is that this data will be used from here so i'm gonna change this one just to make sure that it is uh, just to confirm that it is working so i'm gonna use here donald for example and then i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna run it so as you can see the first request used uh, that uh, line one donald second request two amol third request three team fourth request four don and as you can see the next thread doesn't have data so what will happen is it will go to the first line again and then pick up that data as you can see this line and this line is the same so that is the main uh, way in which you can read the data from the csv file and then use that particular dynamic data in your requests and you can use this data or these variables anywhere you can use it in assertions you can use it in the preprocessors post processors assertion elements anywhere actually basically so if you have more questions about this let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video